Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to give you some helpful tips and exercises for improving your equitation. So today I'm going to be riding Checkers. He is a 14 year old KWPN. He's been with us for about three years now. Um, he was out on lease for a little bit. He's a pretty unorthodox guy in the way he goes. He doesn't have the most equitation suited jump shape. I think he would be good for today because he's kind of a hard one to equitate on. So I figured it would be good for me to challenge myself and come up with some good exercises for you guys that you can take home and use as well. The exercise behind me is a set of two bounces. It's three fences in total. They're set between 10 and 11 feet apart, so you have the option for either trotting in or cantering in very collected. Um, the perk of this exercise is once you get in, you can really focus on solidity of your lower leg and also ab strength and core strength. Um, but it's also kind of a paralleled benefit because the horse can really improve its jump shapes through something like this. So I really love bounces. Um, obviously, there's a lot you can do with them as far as them all being cross rails or all being verticals or um, each one progressively getting bigger, the middle one being the biggest. These are all different exercises and different grids for different things. It's really good for the rider to work on a grid like that because once they come into a grid, you can really just focus on yourself. The biggest things I think about with equitation on the flat is heel depth, shoulders back, and my hands always forward thinking, um, even when over fences as well. So now that we're all warmed up and ready to go, um, I'm gonna take some long approaches and then I'm gonna go through the combo here. Um, the biggest thing I always try and think about is like really stretching my lower leg into the ground, pulling my upper body tall and just kind of locking everything into place. I try to let the horse's motion um, kind of persuade the way I give or the way I break over and, and such. So we'll do a couple long approaches and then I'll pop through this triple combo. Again, just to reiterate, I like to do a lot of combinations and grids to work on lower leg strength, just because I feel like it really stabilizes you having to kit in and out of your two point. There's also a lot of other flat exercises I do as well, but we'll talk about that after I do this. Get it. 
So one of the things I work on in the flat is a lot of no stirrup work. So trotting, posting trot with no stirrup, sitting trot, sitting the canner, half seating the canner, um, and even holding my two point with no stirrups, which can be very difficult. Um, I also like to practice holding my two point with my stirrups and doing lots of transitions. I think it's really beneficial for the heel and the lower leg. Let's go do a little bit of that. And then Checkers is definitely done for the day. He's jumped enough. I'm gonna sit my trout without straps. I'm gonna post my trout without straps. So I hope that some of these were helpful for you guys. Um, the biggest thing about equitation always is to always be very aware of um, things you're trying to work on. I really believe in the 1% rule. And if you really wanna improve your shoulders or your heels, set out to fix just that in one lesson. Really focus on it until it becomes muscle memory. And then once you've accomplished that, go on to something else. So just remember that equitation is a tool and it's to try to help you be as an effective rider as possible. So if there's something your horse likes or dislikes, whether it be like, a, for example, a full seated contact or a half seat, um, even though, you know, technically equitation states that your seat really should be a sitting aid, Troy is a great example. He really doesn't like a sitting seat. Um, he's more of a cold back type horse and I know that. So I'm not gonna try and fit my equitation like a cookie cutter and make it fit to him. If he likes to be ridden a certain way, that's how I'm gonna ride him. But I hope some of these were helpful for you guys and we're gonna go up now and ice and liniment and wrap Mr. Checkers and give him a nice little shower. So let's head on up. This will get you extra points in, in the equitation. <laughs> Come on. Come here, little buddy. Oh, you want a treat. Do you want a treat? You look like you're looking for a treat. Oh, my word. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. You gotta scribble up these. They're dirty. So this is Mary's Botanical Muscle Spray. Um, it's just kind of like a natural liniment. I use it on a lot of my horses daily. So this is gonna go primarily on his body. And in this spray bottle, I have a 50-50 of water and absorbing liniment, which I tend to keep just on their legs. Uh, that way I wrap over it and everything like that. He's gonna get front wraps today, but yeah, then that's it, huh? And then you can go home. <laughs>